What's happening everybody? Eric here, back at you with a brand new video. Now, before we dive to any of those details, you guys already know the drill. If you haven't done so already, smash that subscribe button down below. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be reliving some of my favorite childhood memories of all time. That's right. We're gonna be heading into the Canadian National Exhibition, otherwise known as the CNE or the X. Now, for anyone who doesn't know, the X is basically a giant fair in the lovely city of Toronto that runs for the last two weeks of summer. Now, you guys are gonna see me check out some of the games, maybe some of the rides, some of the local arts and crafts vendors, but you're definitely gonna see me check out some of the amazing food that they have to offer here. But anyways, we're gonna hit the road. We got a little bit of a drive ahead of us here. So enjoy some of the shots, and we'll catch up with you when we're inside. All right, see ya. So we have arrived. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I am mic'd up right now, but it's pretty loud. Obviously there's a fair going on here. So we're gonna do a quick food stop. So I wanted to check in with you guys while I enjoy this original CNE ice cream hot waffle. So I'm gonna show you guys this really quick. Yeah, so I've actually never had this before. So I'm gonna dive in really quick because it's definitely melting. So cheers. Oh wow, yeah, <laughs> holy crap, that is good. Exactly as advertised, waffle and ice cream. Mm. I'm getting it from both sides here right now. Nah. Don't go there. <laughs> yeah, so you guys let me know in the comments below, if you go to fairs fairly often, what's your favorite food to sample here. Ice cream, pizza, deep fried something. I'm sure that's gonna be on the menu today, don't worry. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious what your favorite fair food is. So we're just gonna finish this up quick. Before it's completely gone. <laughs> All right. Last bite. Yeah, probably got some ice cream in my beer, but Belgian dip, as they call it. Anyways, I'm gonna do some more walking around. Might try out some games. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. already, right? 
Ah, oh, crap. Ah! Alright, I think after that one, it's safe to say I've earned myself another snack. What do you think? Yeah, thought so. Alright, let's go grab something. So honestly, I wasn't planning on coming here and grabbing too much stuff, but this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Like the rock, like vintage rock socks. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna grab these. These are so cool. I don't even care how much they are. Do you smell what my feet are cooking? guys wow it got super hot out all of a sudden and also apologize if the glare is a little off if you see me squinting a lot the sun is right in my face right now but got a few more things to eat as you guys saw from the shot so we're gonna dive into the very first thing that I got which is the Canadian poutine which is a fried egg ketchup bacon and then the cheese curds and french fries went with the Canadian special so we're gonna dive in Cheers. Wow, that was really good. Some bacon in there. Tough. Tough but good, like me. Ah. Just show you guys there. Not sure if ketchup just went everywhere there, but. So depending on where in the world you are, you may not have poutine near you. 
And I apologize if you guys can't hear me very well. Obviously, there's lots going on right now, rides, crowds, and stuff like that. But anyways, if you don't have poutine near you, comment below and let me know if you've heard of it before, if you've tried it before. I'm curious. Wow. All right. So here's the yolk. So you're going to try the yolk with this fries and cheese curds here. See how that turns out. Mm. That's an interesting combo. Never had that one before, but eh. don't hate it either. Take a couple more bites fulls here and then uh, just going everywhere right now. Yeah. All right, so last bite of this. Nah, I lied. Two more bites. All right, so I'm going to save this for later. Clean that ketchup out of my beard there. And then we're going to dive to dessert, which is something I'm super excited about that I've never tried before. Uh, deep fried Oreos. So you guys would have saw the shots there, but... Yeah, super, super excited to try these out. So let's see. I got like a fork to try and make it a little bit more classier, but I don't know. I don't know if classiness is required with deep fried foods, especially maybe Oreos. I don't know. But we're gonna dive in here. One bite. Oh, oh my God. Just take me away. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna take a bite and then I'm gonna show you guys the inside here. So I can see right there. Yeah, basically just an Oreo put in dough and deep fried, but no complaints. All right, so last one. We're gonna devour this real quick. So that's all down. Absolutely, absolutely delicious, I have to say. Deep fried Oreos, definitely, definitely need to throw those in the rotation a little bit more. Maybe not too often, but every once in a while, gotta treat yourself, right? Of course. But yeah, as you guys saw, c &E was an absolute blast. Had a fantastic time here, enjoyed lots of food, enjoyed a few games. Didn't enjoy any rides, but definitely enjoyed them from afar, if you know what I mean. Just didn't really feel like going on any but also enjoyed the cool arts and crafts vendors that I saw. Lots of really cool stuff happening there, as you guys would have saw from the shots. But yeah, if you have never been to the CNE before, again, it runs for the last two weeks of summer in Toronto. So I believe middle of August to the beginning of September. Definitely, definitely check it out if you're in the area or if you just feel like traveling and checking something really cool out. It's a lot of fun. But anyways, that is going to be a wrap for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. Please just remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Toss this video a good old-fashioned thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to hit that channel bell for notifications so that you never miss a new video of mine. And we'll see you in the next video.